90 Day Fiancé star Johan Geronimo may have ulterior motives when it comes to his relationship with Daniele Gates. The 32-year-old man from the Dominican Republic used to work at a hotel, as a physical trainer and dance instructor. He was featured on Love in Paradise, the Caribbean. In the lobby of the same hotel, Johan bumped into Daniele. At that time, the two felt an instant connection. Daniele and Johan were smitten, and on her next visit to the doctor, they got engaged. Five months after they first met, they decided to tie the knot in Doctor, after Daniele flew back to Johan's country again. 90 Day Fiancé star Daniele Gates married Johan after having spent barely three weeks with him in person. They moved fast because she wanted to have a baby with him. Meanwhile, Johan expressed his desire to move to the U. S, but Daniele never told him that she'd failed to start his visa process. Instead, Daniele moved to the doctor after quitting her job as a history teacher at a school in New York, and winding things down at her yoga center. She was ready to let go of the $15,000 extra pension that she'd receive if she remained in America for 12 more months. Daniele insisted that she wanted a life of leisure by the beach, where she'd eat mangoes all day. However, the move was also a way for her to test 90 Day Fiancé star Johan's intentions in case she decided to bring him to America. Did Johan get married to Daniele for a green card? Johan believed that Daniele would stay with him in the Dominican Republic until his visa interview was scheduled, and his visa was approved. He was shown trying to learn English because he'd need it in order to find work once he moved to America. During a conversation with her friends, before she took the plunge and wed Johan, Daniele expressed concerns. According to her, when she returned home following her first meeting with Johan, he'd gotten a dollar sign tattoo on his arm. When Daniele asked what it meant, 90DF's Johan covered it up with a tribal tattoo. On the show, one of Daniele's friends asked, does it symbolize, I made it? I have this sugar mama. They suspected Johan was a Sankey Panky, who may have always wanted to meet an American woman. When he did, they believed he must have thought, Cha Ching I got it. Right ahead of her wedding, Daniele developed cold feet. She was suspicious because Johan was more and more adamant about moving to the U. S, even though they had discussed her moving to the doctor first. Is this love or is this him looking for an opportunity? Daniele asked the cameras. Johan relies on 90 Day Fiancé star Daniele for money as per Daniele, Johan wanted to help his family, and his goal was to work in the U. S, so he could send money home. If not, Daniele assumed she'd have to be the one financially supporting 90 Day Fiancé cast member Johan's family once she went to the doctor. For some reason, he thinks I have millions of dollars. But in reality, my life in New York is really asterisk 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 expensive. I make as much money as I spend, Daniele had told a friend over a video call in the finale. He doesn't have anything that you want right now, financially, her friend had advised. Of course, Johan never removed his wallet when he went out with Daniele. He had even eaten $200 worth of peanuts from the minibar while they were staying in a hotel. I have to pay for the peanuts, a frustrated Daniele had said. 
In 90 Day Fiancé, The Other Way Season 4, Johan showed his lack of financial acumen in many ways. Johan spent money starting a meat business, which wasn't profitable. Any debt that he takes on is also my debt. So I hope that he doesn't think I'm gonna be his sugar mama because that's not my plan, Daniele confessed. In the latest episode of Toe, Daniele and Johan went house hunting. She found an apartment that she liked in a neighborhood for expats. The rent was $2,000, which is 106,350 Dominican pesos, and Johan offered to pay a share of only 5,000 Dominican pesos. Moreover, he expected Daniele to cook and clean for him because she was working from home, and he was going outside. So far, it's clear that Johan thinks he's struck gold by getting Daniele to marry him, and although she's being non-compliant, she is bound to put the most money into the relationship. Even if Daniele couldn't take Johan to the US, he is going to be living a much better life than he ever has, all thanks to his 90-day fiancé wife's foolishness.